as always, it remains super important that if you enjoyed this series and want to see it continue, that if you can, you pledge to the Patreon. With YouTube revenue dropping, your support is really needed right now. Link below if you want to check it out. But ultimately, the good news is we're not that far from what I need, just some kind souls to push us over. Right away, kicking us off with easily the best looking cannon firing animation in the entire series. Not gonna lie, it's very awesome to get to see how the Marines operate a big ship for the first time like this. My god, would you just look at that continuous shot of him moving through his men going about their work? I mean, that was fantastic! This is why I enjoyed the movie so much! Two wins here. Firstly, I really like this more serious tone to this one so far. Secondly, again, they cram so much animation into such a simple scene of them moving about the ship that I'm floored. The wind just casually doing its thing and looking damn fine doing so too. Even seeing this is awesome, what a massive marine ship looks like inside of its communication room, staffed by numerous people. Awesome looking zooming out shot! Getting a look at this new location and how good the shot itself ends up looking. Not only that, but also the fact that the buildings again look different to anything before it. Stupidly great way to do the starting credits. Normally that stuff bores me, but this was fantastic. Really experimenting with 3D and CGI with animation within it. <laughs> Luffy being Luffy right from the start of the movie. I'm not even going to mess around, I'm splitting this win. Firstly, Nami looking real cute. Secondly, Robin looking amazing right here too in this getup. God, I'm in love with just how much animation is poured into such small and simple scenes like this. It's really like a Studio Ghibli movie in the best of ways. <laughs> Mihawk's voice actor really out here voicing both of these dudes. Zoro just proving that whilst everyone else is relaxing, aside from Nami, that he too is carefully watching events around them. <laughs> Nami again showing how easily she can, just like in the main series, control the crew in numerous ways. Totally not hating this view of Nami and her being a little flirty for once. Speaking of nice views. Usopp suffering from another one of his amazing and hilarious afflictions. Chopper still being the cutest little thing to have ever existed in the history of everything. Such a nice touch that she goes under his leg here and then steps over a fallen down Zoro and actually mentions it. I'll tell you what this does for me, it just screams adventure and that's what One Piece is really all about. Animated multiple characters all moving within one scene like it's no big deal. Dude how cool is that? They even have a pair of giants down there just chilling out. She's really just so awesome, so happy she's on the crew. Playing that for this win purely because the music is so unique and lovely and fits the vibe and feel of this place to a T. Plus it's totally new from the main anime too. Making it look like she's actually writing in here. Oh, that's so adorable! Chopper wanting to, or at least feeling like he needed to copy his captain. <laughs> he didn't reach him in time, or maybe he determined it wasn't enough to warrant an attack, but I always like how Zoro is the first one to react in moments like this. Also though, the damage effect animator is really out of play here too. <laughs> Chopper still sat perfectly in place, frozen solid. <laughs> Obviously we know it can't hurt Luffy, but it doesn't stop it from being shocking all of a sudden and animated beautifully. 
<laughs> the fact that he was able to do that with his body, but most of all that fantastic shot as the view zoomed back through all the shocked patrons. <laughs> this attack looking good, but mostly because they deserved it for being so scummy and shooting at your boy Luffy. <laughs> Honestly, the vibe and feel and style of the animation actually reminds me a lot of Cowboy Bebop, which I've also covered by the by. In fact, the animation is so good, and I love this continuous motion shot so much that they can have the movie's first two max wins here. It's gorgeous stuff. <laughs> Not like 14 swords with just his three! A very amazing looking 10 second long continuous motion shot where the action never cut away once. <laughs> this movie has an unreal amount of crazy good looking but well done scenes like this, it's insane! I just wrote the last win and then this happens and I'm sat here going, yeah see what I mean? <laughs> Luffy's excellent approach when asked why he saved him, but really we know he doesn't want anyone seriously hurt if he can avoid it. He's truly unique. <laughs> oh snap! That was fast after the insult was given. I do like how Luffy needs 0.1 seconds to determine he doesn't want to join anyone else's crew though. <laughs> How serious he takes Luffy's words here, in spite of being in a near position to fight him a mere moment ago, that he carefully does step over it instead. A whole bunch of not walking on the spot! Great scene with the kid that already tells us everything we need to know about him, in terms of how far he's going for his grandfather's health, all without exposition. One Piece has some of the best villains sometimes, and they seem to only be getting better. People who aren't evil just for the sake of it. Eating evil for breakfast, then snuggling with it at night. Expanding the lore of this place by showing another much smaller settlement than where they first landed. Ah! Wow, I really do not mind these little segments. They did them very well to be fair, and yet it was clearly something new for the year. You guys and gals should know the drill by now if you've been fans of my series for a while, so showing everyone doing daily workings on the boat easily scores that win. <laughs> That's one of those moments I freaking love Zoro saying, did they start the race without us? And randomly, and without evidence, Luffy says, Zoro always gets left behind. Makes no sense, but it's brilliant. <laughs> Sanji is basically me in this anime. It's crazy, but the CGI is not bad at all for the year it came out. I mean, how the hell could anyone see that moment and then walk on by and not drop a win on it? I couldn't, I can't, I refuse to do so, take my win, that was sick. So adorable! An awesome scene, and look at a huge part of the city, and all of these many ships heading off to start the race. I always mention this in the main series, but you give me totally unique looking ships and I'll give you a win, even trade. <laughs> you gave me another unique ship right away! Okay, you keep giving me these damn boats, you could just have max wins for it already. This amazing view from behind as they climb up the stream of the mountain. A plain old great pair of good looking shots right there. This race getting super heated right from the get go and look how calm Zoro is. I knew it was going to happen, but I still near burst out laughing, seeing him destroy such a huge ship with his first shot. What's an incredible amount of animation put into these three different shots? I know it's a movie, but this one has by far the most animation and frames across the board out of all four I've seen so far. Not 
only did this visually look so cool, but it reminded me that the studio did a good job of making them look giant compared to everything else. It's as good as anything from Attack on Titan. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> the second favourites in the whole thing go out this quick. <laughs> so awesome it's the third time he's done this on the ship i think at the end of the east blue saga then maybe during the second movie and now again <laughs> this is one of those times where i was literally like oh ho, ho, when i saw the giant hand she formed i mean that was bloody unreal i loved that so much it's not even funny max wins the original Isaac the Terror, who sadly passed away in 2014 at the age of 82. I know he didn't know it was a kid, but his reaction was still sick. In all of One Piece, everything about it, this is absolutely one of my favourite things that happens Every time, I love it. Oh. Oh. I said it recently in the main series, part 22, I believe, and I'll say it here. I don't think I'll ever get bored of watching her use her abilities and in such unique ways each time. <laughs> First person bullet in rubber skin shot. That reaction and transformation. <laughs> Glad character development from the past is included in the movies. Not often times, but this here does ring true, given her history of living just to protect her village and its people. <laughs> Chopper being the most adorable thing to ever exist, and like I've said a dozen times in the main series, the voice actress is one of my absolute favourites for performances like this. Speaking of things nicely carried over from the series, you could definitely include the wild weather patterns in that. I love how what I wrote for win number 79 was spot on, as Sanji here reveals that very thing I talked about to the lad, so he understands what she got so upset about. <laughs> I keep saying about how natural they are as a crew. If this was another large anime, he might reply within his trope. If he's quick to anger, he'll get angry, etc. But here he says this instead. Nice, Usopp! Usopp totally starting off this movie being a badass! <laughs> Speaking of people doing badass looking things... I know it's not canon, but I really hope stuff like this becomes canon, because this is insane. We've seen a giant whale and goldfish, the big cat from Arabasta, couple others, but not like this! I'm glad that just like with Nami earlier on, we get moments like this from Luffy too, explaining why he takes his life seriously in spite of how that might look. Damn, what a brilliant twist I didn't see coming a mile off. The end goal is a marine base where they're destroying all of the pirates as they turned up. <gasps> ha, it gets even better. They can have another win for that actually, with them having been tricked from the get-go. Bit too long to show, but definitely one here for Luffy's rousing speech to the lad. That's now the fourth time! That's hands down the most lovely thing said so far in this entire anime movie, bless him. Feels like the ideal time to switch back to this ship and learn more about this very cool character, his history with the ship and its general, and what happened to him as a kid. Setting up fight scenes to look really good can be tough. This for me is one such example where it's done beautifully with the cold dark night, wind howling, set up by the prior winds, let's go. 
If you've watched the other movies, you'll know how hard Toei has been on me with the movies. So I'll show the first part of the fight scene like this. Very fluid, very fast, great action. Even though we don't see it from the inside, that still makes for a great high impact shot. That's one of the most unique looking shots I've literally ever seen in any anime ever. Seeing how the old man back in the day helped rescue people when the attack happened. In a lot of ways this reminds me of Cowboy Bebop, such as here, choosing to do part of the fight from a huge distance away, just basically tons of unique angles and shots. Oh, boy, oh. A great finish to a horrible cretin that both looked and sounded awesome and was just simple in its greatness. Yeah! Another new and unique devil fruit ability or that! Absolutely awesome. Getting there just in time. I said another win a minute ago was one of the best high impact shots ever. And then we got this one on top of it. Honestly, I'm saying this now. Doesn't matter how the movie ends. It's my number one out of the four I've seen today. Two wins here. Firstly, he makes for another unique villain in the One Piece universe in that he's basically bored and wants nothing but power. That's why he's doing this, not world domination or whatever. Secondly, it's that very thing that likely makes Luffy the most angry given how it's the complete opposite to him. <laughs> This whole little conversation going on in the background is a nice touch of realism. <laughs> Definitely have a win for these two having reunited now. <laughs> the whole scene just prior to this of the boy telling his grandfather that finally they can leave their ship and something good at long last has happened to them. It was a lovely scene. But also how Zoro here just says, without a second's hesitation, that he's obviously coming with them. Didn't need to ask. The fact that he still managed to get back up in order to try and fight this guy because of his painful past. But it seems that maybe his sister survived after all, as we saw the old man help him before. It's not very nice, I'll grant you that, but he did save his life to be fair. This has the potential to make for the most interesting fight in all four movies. What a weird ability! <laughs> Just saying, they've been doing high impact shots, and hear me now, beautifully through the whole movie. Well played. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that made me chuckle that Sanchi saw that whilst going on about his business and it freaked him out. Also, though, definitely one for him landing that attack of his like that. What is this, Terminator 2? Jokes aside, the animation on that was well done. <laughs> That's so awesome how he uses an attack that he used against Crocodile, especially since they're similar in a way. <laughs> That's a first. I think maybe it was slightly damaged versus Buggy in their fight from when he met Nami, but now this. <laughs> Luffy landing the first proper hit on him, let's go! It's a small thing, but to my eyes, you can really tell that the crew making this movie were able to elevate this fight to a new level above the other films, making it more realistic and serious. Not running for your life on the spot! That was unexpected and absolutely awesome! Oh wow, that's a great little twist that is. I'm guessing it's the bounty hunter's little sister? But odd that he's grown so much in eight years and she hasn't. Bit odd. Wow, another great twist. Way more explosive, mind the pun, than I thought it'd be as well. 
Take one here as well for the aftermath. They really went all in on the damage and pieces of the ship hitting the water and going below the surface. Looks great to be honest. <laughs> Not even sure why, but I always enjoy hearing about Luffy's thoughts on being a pirate and how much his crew mean to him. Like I said at the start, this is why Luffy hates him so much from the get-go. Also, like I said before, to his credit, he's not a simple villain. He's talked about respecting Luffy numerous times in various ways, also trying to get him to join his crew and so on and so forth. As a perfect follow-up win, I felt he also deserved one for just prior to this, telling Luffy there's an emergency boat nearby he can use if he wins the battle. With Sanji's help, Luffy finding a way to fight him finally. Just like the water with Crocodile, there's always a way to find a weakness. I really liked that final line from him there. <laughs> Finding yet another different use of his body to be used as a weapon. <laughs> Easy Max 2 wins to end this movie's final battle with easily the best use of Luffy's bazooka move. High Impact, that's the name of the game for this excellent movie, and it just looked fantastic. Stunning looking visuals as the massive storm hits the ship. How come Zoro always is like this? What an awesome old man. Glad they gave him the credit rather than Luffy doing it all in his unfit state. The old man wanted to live in the end and saved them both. That's brilliant. I was right, he revealed the truth, and to be fair, she's now 11. Looks about right, he could have been maybe 11 or 12 and is now 19 or 20. Feels about right time-wise. Oh, that's a lovely ending actually, getting a nice reason to live in this world. <laughs> Luffy getting his hat back, and it was this guy who got it for him. That's awesome. <laughs> to be honest, with everything going on, I pretty much forgot about the whole race thing. Glad they won it though, or maybe won it, not sure yet. Too long to show too much, but there's some nice character development there. They didn't reunite, share a hug, and that's that. He ponders whether or not he's a good person. Can he care for her and so on? A pleasant ending that makes sense. The marines from the start blocked their path to the finish line, so they're again on the run and not Filthy Ridge, which they aren't in the main series, naturally. A very lovely goodbye shared between all of them, including the bounty hunter, more than happily letting them go on their way too. A nice final moment between him and the old man too, where he basically tells him that he's ready to continue the rest of his life now. A very good ending to a brilliant movie, I thought. What a good way to end it. Definitely take one for the credits, a decent song and simple visuals, seeing each member of the crew and some artwork for them. A final win here for seeing our favourite whale from the start of the last saga. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching, I want to thank you for that and say once more, if you are able, if you love what I do here entirely alone, so much work goes into it all. So if you want to help out, please do consider checking out the Patreon at the top of the description. Could really use the support, to be honest with you. Thank you. Darth Weirdo, Mal Liao, Nick Windham, The Elementator Wars, Christopher Willis, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Fancy Turtle, Kepan, Mini Masher, Marquez, Nazomi, Orkeeper, Otter A. Bodonisi, Steelers, The Epic Commander, Bird Without a Word, Brandon Creer, Brian Bayot, Cameron, Christian Tuasa, Commander Chris, Doggos for Life, Dragonstorm 35, Erin Winters, Guru Guru, I Am Here, James Tafoya, Your Edvinson, Kevin Elston, Comfoik, Kylie Wub, Lisa Marie Timp, Luis Minito, Magnus, Mr. Mansu, Lightly Winter, Peter Milligan, Ruby Rose, Satakayari, Zion 44, Sean, The 100s, Tiger Lily Warrior, Sumi Bito, A Joker, Alexander Schwartz, Ali 50, Amadillo, Brainless Ben, 
Ben, Cecilia, Cedric, Cloud Garden, Dante Soul, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Death the Kid 123, Devon, Dragon Defender, Esso, Garrett Vermish, Gibbs, Hope to Lose Ritter, Israel Caldera, Jason Davies, John John, Jaffa 6263, Kelnock, Kevin Nelter, Kevink 102, Knuckle Duster, Kai 158, Kyle Jones, Laxor, Laxus, Liam Gagati, Lifty, Lionel Schultz, Marvin, Matthew Blancet, Michael Lewis, Modiverum, Monty, Mudini, Mr. Firecall, Natsu Dragneel, Nick Monaco, Nick Pell, 1928, Ollie the Mighty, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Oscar I. Lopez, Owen Haloran, Q Flash, Ryan DeVries, Sarcastic Truth, Snow, Stan, Storm 970, TRS, The Danish Muggle, Thrasher 340, Vernon Hogan, Will Sass, Willyman, 